Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. You'd think President Trump had pardoned a traitor by the level of outrage the left spewed after Trump pardoned Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Oh, no, wait. That wasn't President Trump who pardoned a traitor. That was President Obama who granted clemency to Chelsea Manning, the former Army soldier who stole national security secrets and published them, endangering the safety and security of our people by doing so. Funny how the left wasn't outraged about that pardon. In fact, they cheered for it. You'd think President Trump had pardoned a convicted terrorist by the shocked faces of the liberal talking heads on TV after Trump pardoned Sheriff Joe. Oh no, wait. That was President Obama who pardoned Oscar Lopez Rivera, who was justly serving a 55-year sentence for murder and terrorism after he bombed innocent people and killed them. Funny how when Obama set that man free, nobody on the left even put down their lattes. You'd think President Trump had abused his executive power with excessive pardons by the way the left screamed after he pardoned Arpaio. Oh no, wait. That was President Obama who granted clemency 1,927 times, and President Bill Clinton who pardoned 140 people on his last day in office. Funny how the left didn't seem to care about that. Listen, if you think Sheriff Joe Arpaio's tent city was a good way to teach convicts a lesson, great. If you're horrified by the disrespect the sheriff showed the inmates forcing them to wear pink underwear and eat bologna sandwiches, doesn't matter. Literally does not matter if you think the sheriff is a good person or a bad person. Does not matter whether you think what he did was right or wrong. The only thing we should be asking is was Sheriff Joe Arpaio deprived of his constitutional right to a trial by jury? The answer to that is yes, but liberals are choosing to ignore that fact. Instead of telling you the truth, the left is choosing to tell you a lie. Liberals think you're stupid. Listen to this tweet from Bernie Sanders. By pardoning Sheriff Arpaio, President Trump has once again made clear where he stands on the side of racism and discrimination. Nope, that's wrong, and Bernie Sanders knows it. President Trump is standing on the side of law and order, standing on the side of our system of justice. Sheriff Joe Arpaio was never convicted of racial profiling in a criminal court. Arpaio settled a civil suit for profiling, but that's not the same thing at all. Bernie Sanders and the left need to get their facts straight. The truth is, and we should be asking ourselves, why the left refuses to say this, because it's not too hard for them to comprehend, Sheriff Joe was convicted of a misdemeanor contempt of court because he voluntarily enforced immigration regulations that the federal government refused to enforce. A judge then told Arpaio to stop enforcing immigration law because doing so is not a role mandated for a county sheriff by state law, and Sheriff Joe didn't stop. That's it. No racial profiling conviction, none whatsoever. It doesn't matter if you think Sheriff Joe was a bad sheriff, don't vote for him then. But Sheriff Joe's attorney requested a trial by jury and he was denied. According to the Sixth Amendment of our Constitution, Sheriff Arpaio has a constitutional right to a trial by jury and he was denied that protection. That makes his prosecution and the conviction wrong regardless of whether you believe his actions were right or wrong. Liberal tears don't govern our nation, the Constitution does. And President Trump rightly used his power of pardon to right a wrong and he did the right thing. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.